All right, y'all. In the spirit of transparency, I share with you why I love living in Dallas, but now I need to tell you my least favorite parts about my new city. Let's talk about it. Everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with EXP Realty. And y'all, I get so many questions about relocating, especially to the Dallas Fort Worth area, because my family migrated. Well, do you migrate? I don't know. We um, left Chicago, all our family and friends, six years ago, and we have been calling the Lone Star State home. Now, I shared with you a couple weeks ago about why I love living in Dallas and why it was the, well in the Dallas area and why it was the best decision for my family. But I have to tell you, it's all not Skittles and rainbows. So I need to share with you some of my least favorite reasons um, why things that I think you should consider if you are looking to relocate here. So here are a few things that I wish were different, but I still love where I am. Okay, reason number one. One of you all actually reminded me of this is the hell storms. Now, we get hell storms here. I would say hell storm season is in the spring, um, generally from about March to uh, June, okay? This past year, we didn't get any hell, which was great, but y'all, I'm gonna tell you, when you do get hell storms, they can be a little scary. They don't happen often, but we do have a little stretch of time where we might get them a little more frequently. And the scary part is if you are driving and the hailstorm happens because we get like literally golf ball, uh, is that a golf ball? I don't know, size of hail. So um, one, here is a pro tip and you'll see it if you are in the state of Texas. First of all, if you know a hailstorm is coming, if you have an opportunity to cover, buy a house that has a garage so that you can protect your house. Lots of roof claims happen during hailstorm season. Um, but if you happen to be driving, as soon as you you see um, that the hail is starting to come go ahead and pull into an overpass or a gas station or something like that and wait the hail storms out now they never really last long at all and I have had you know times where it has gone pitch black with hail everywhere and then five minutes later it is a sunny day like it is today so but I don't like them another thing to consider that I didn't consider when I moved to Dallas was the lack of scenery um, and let me tell you what I mean about that Dallas is very flat we are inland so if you are used to living somewhere like Colorado or um, California where there are lots of hills where there is a lot of view for you um, and, and some people really thrive off of those environments you might want to reconsider consider the Dallas Fort Worth area now, what I love about here is that there's so much infrastructure, everything, I mean, a lot of it is new. So you have lots of buildings, lots of restaurants, lots of things like that, but you just don't have that natural, um, I don't even know the word for it, but you know what I'm saying. I, obviously, I didn't pay attention in fifth grade social studies, but you don't have the, that natural scenery where you can like look out in California and see hills in the distance or anything like that. It's pretty flat here. Okay. While we are on the subject of what we don't have, another thing since Dallas is inland is we don't really have any natural bodies of water nearby in this area. Now, if you go to Houston, of course, you're gonna be closer to the ocean, um, but I'm from Chicago and we have Lake Michigan. And I'm gonna tell you, I did not know how much that mattered to me to live in a place where I could see water um, until I came here and just realized like, oh, there's no lake. Now, we do have Lake Louisville, but Lake Louisville in comparison to the lake that I was used to is a little womp 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 womp. Um, but I still love it here. It's just that one fact. But I do want to tell you this because I have some friends that are from California. They're ocean people. I think ocean people, like if you live in Florida or California and you even get way better than what I had in Lake Michigan, the lack of water can affect you. So I definitely would take a visit and just see if this works. And you know what? If all else fails, get a pool in your backyard and you can see water every single day. Another thing that is not my favorite in this area is traffic. Um, I 
I know that there is traffic everywhere. And don't get me wrong, the traffic isn't like LA traffic or California. Like I've been in LA traffic and you know, just really um, contemplated my life at that point. It's not that bad, but again, there are so many um, businesses coming. This is a great place for, um, we get a lot of transplants, a lot of relocations. So we have new people coming every single day and a lot of those people are on the road. So um, sometimes traffic can be a bear. So if you are looking to relocate, I would look very closely um, at what your commute is going to be like. You know, some people just really can't handle a long commute or you can take a long commute, but it's tougher when the commute is in back-to-back -back traffic. Um, but just go ahead and consider that because even when you get off of the expressway um, in the, these areas, in these suburbs in Northern Dallas, again, because there's so many activities going on, so many people, and then we have people like, let me just tell you, I'm from Chicago. People who learn how to drive in Chicago or New York are different from people who learn how to drive in other parts of the country. And guess what? We all came to Dallas because it's so dope. So you just have to understand that drivers are different. So even when you get off the expressway sometimes, um, it can take a while just to get to your front door. Um, this is what I say. I became very good friends with Audible <laughs> during my commutes in Fort Worth, um, in Dallas, Fort Worth, because if I knew that the commutes were going to be long, at least I can educate myself and listening to those books actually helps to calm me um, while I'm here. In the last video that I know that I'll tag here somewhere where I told you what I love about Dallas, I love the weather, but also it's kind of an oxymoron. One of the things that I love is also one of the things that I don't love. I don't love the unpredictability of the weather. And this is what I mean, um, especially when we have those seasonal changes like winter months here, you can go, you can experience almost all four seasons in just one day. Like literally you can leave out layers. Layers is your friend. You can leave out with a sweater, you know, um, but, but don't wear long sleeves. Okay. Have short sleeve sweat, um, shirt under your long sleeves because by the time you get off work, it could be 85 degrees. Although it was almost hailing and snowing, um, just that morning. So I definitely, um, tell you that the weather can be unpredictable. One of my good friends, um, when I first moved here, she said, Rosemary, in your car, always keep you some rain boots, keep an umbrella, and keep a jacket and a heavier coat in your, in your car um, just so that you're prepared. Now, I haven't needed to use all of those things, but I definitely get where she's coming from because it can get cray cray. Okay. And then here's the last thing, you know, I'm a real estate agent, so I have to tell you one real estate fact that, um, that I don't love about Dallas, but I'll tell you how they offset it. Our property taxes. Property taxes here, depending on what part of the country that you're in, like if you are in um, Las Vegas or um, Nevada, some of those areas where property taxes can be about 1%, um, you might be, have a little bit of a sticker shock when you see the property taxes here. Now, I don't wanna quote um, actual percentages because it varies by county, but I have worked with some relocation clients and they were really surprised um, at the amount of property tax that we have. However, one thing that I failed to mention in the video of why I love Dallas is that we have no state income tax. Um, so it definitely offsets because you're bringing more in um, on a monthly basis or weekly basis, however you're getting paid, um, but um, <laughs> you can expect to spend some of what you save in property tax. Here's another thing that I don't love about Dallas. I'm from Chicago and in Chicago we get uh, we have a lot of what you call um, um, just little local eateries, local restaurants. Um, I think in New Orleans, y'all call them corner stores where you can get just some like takeout, quick, greasy, good, good eating. In Dallas, we have an abundance of restaurants here. We have an abundance of fast food, but you know, I'm used to things like Harold's Chicken. I'm used to rib joints. I'm used to fried fish places. Now it's almost good for my for my diet and my figure that we don't have those things but every now and again i just want a little fix of like just a, a little a little um quick and grab meal um that isn't fancy or isn't a chain restaurant so that's definitely something that i wish we had here but it gives me something to look forward to when i go back to chicago to visit family okay y'all so i just wanted to just be really transparent and tell you why i love 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 dallas um i love living in this 
area. It was the best decision for my family. There are some things that we really wish were different, but overall, the pros outweigh the cons. If you ever want to chat relocation, my information is in the description box. And if y'all ever need anything, let me know. Have a good one.